essential oils heal the brain. Please welcome Jodie Cohen. Who here has ever felt so overwhelmed that even small tasks like returning a phone call or making a meal for your family felt like too much? Who's ever felt so exhausted that upon waking, all you want to do is pull the covers back over your head and just hide there for the rest of the day? That was me five years ago after my husband attempted suicide and was moved to a residential treatment facility. For the first time in years, I knew he was safe and it wasn't my job to keep him safe and it was safe for my adrenals to collapse. But my babies were very little and desperately needed me and I could barely function and nothing was working. And fortunately, I was gifted essential oils and out of sheer desperation, I muscle tested them to create blends that really helped me heal my anxiety, depression, insomnia, and exhaustion. I was kind of shocked that they worked and how quickly they worked. And when I felt like myself again, I felt compelled to understand exactly how and why they worked so I could help other people prevent that kind of serious rock bottom. But before I get into the science, I want to address the elephant in the room. Who here questions if essential oils even work? Oh, that's good, not many of you. Um, I appreciate the leaders in our community, like JJ, for bravely sharing how they've helped her son, and Dave Asprey for bravely blogging about how essential oils actually work after witnessing them work in his 40 Years of Zen project. So, Let's dive into the science of how essential oils are uniquely suited to access and heal the brain. As you may know, it can be really challenging to get the right remedy into the right tissue of the brain, right? Our tools are primarily food, supplements, pharmaceutical drugs, and they have to tra travel through the digestive channel where they're processed by the liver. Any kind of gut inflammation or infection or digestive impairment can compromise the ability of that remedy to be assimilated and absorbed. I took Datis Karazian's functional neurology class and he shared that there's always a back door to healing the brain. I believe the same is true in the body. If you think of our front door as being kind of our digestive system, the back door would be the transdermal channel through the skin, which we know works for hormonal creams and nicotine patches, and the olfactory channel or our sense of smell which goes directly into the limbic area of the brain. The other challenge with accessing the brain is that it has to pass through the blood-brain barrier, which is a filter that only lets very small molecules pass. There's some interesting research that lipid-soluble particles seem to help facilitate the passage through the blood-brain barrier, which makes sense to me because if we think about what we know heals the brain, it's fat-soluble, remedies like essential fatty acids and liposomal melatonin. I believe this is because they're fat, the brain is fat, and fat likes fat. This is one of the reasons oil pulling works. It's the fatty membranes and the bacteria that are kind of drawn to the fat in the oil. So let's quickly review. We've established that to access the brain, particles need to be fat soluble and very small. So what is fat soluble so small that they're actually called volatile because they circulate in the air where our nose detects them as aroma and can also access the transdermal and olfactory channels. Essential oils, good guess. So what does this mean for the future of health? It means you now have a new tool in your arsenal with which to access and heal the brain. And just as I was gifted essential oils five years ago, my gift to you is our best essential